I still can't believe we played against Royal Academy. I know they conceded, but we'll be going up against them again in the Football Frontier Tournament. They won't give up so easily next time. Looks like we've got some hard work ahead of us. Well, the only way to guarantee that we'll be fighting them is to draw them in round one, and that would be unfortunate because it gives us no chance. And if we don't draw them in round one, how can you say you're going to fight them? Is it true we're having another friendly match? Huh? What are you talking about? You mean you don't know? Oh, I'm gonna double check the notice board downstairs. If we really have another match, we've gotta start practicing right away. Especially as I didn't do anything in the royal match. Watch it, I'm serious. Let's go and have a look. Notice board? Friendly? What? <laughs> Friendly? That's not like you, Kevin. <laughs> Let's go check the notice board. Are these guys going to follow me? Yeah, they are. Okay, that doesn't mean I can talk to them. Might as well have a quick check of the blog to celebrate our success. No, they're still still on. Okay. I can't believe we beat it. Now we're getting lots of requests for friendly matches. Hey, we can actually go upstairs now for the first time. This is the second floor of the main building. Are you here for a verbal beating as well? There's nobody here. Okay, what about this bit that awkwardly sticks out of the front of the building? It's the school radio room. Interesting how it does stick out of the side. This is Nelly's room. I wouldn't go in there if I were you, unless you're looking for trouble. Okay, let's go in. Ah, oh, we can't go in. Right, and we can even go higher than that. Quite interestingly, this is the roof. I don't get this. I don't get if it's a mistake, if it's a pun, or what it is. I just don't know what that is meant to be at all. This is the cheerleading club. They even have one of these at Ryman that's successful, yet the football club has no success until now. So I can't keep up playing all these instruments by myself. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, let's head... Let's actually head to the notice board, by the way, then. You know, we can actually move our characters like this using the touch screen. I always just use my 2DS circle pad. But you can do it this way. But nobody does. <laughs> What's going on? What's this notice about? Hey, Axel's here. What are you on about, pal? If I can actually talk to him. <sighs> Okay, let's read it, because he's not going to tell me. Let's see! Ryman's next friendly revealed. Royal beating team to face a cult. W what's going on here? Axel, do you know anything about this? Nope. <laughs> Don't forget, I'm not planning on joining the football club. That last match was a one-off. What? Hey, Axel, wait! What do you mean by a one-off? <laughs> I don't say anything. Off I go. What's his problem? Don't worry about him. We've got to check if this is true with Mr. Winnersee. Hurry up, we're wasting valuable training time. Kevin, seriously, what's happening to you? Okay, let's go to the staff room. We'll find out what's going on with Mr. Winnersee. So we need to find Mr. Wintersee. Is he actually upstairs in the area we were just in? Uh, let's find out. Go up the stairs once again. Yeah, we were meant to go here anyway. I just went there early for no reason. Hey, okay, Kevin's gonna hide while I'm just gonna walk through. Okay, I do hide. Uncle Junior, hi. Something seems very strange about this match request. They say they'll curse us if we refuse to play them. We've had lots of requests since beating Royal Academy, but this one is by far the creepiest. Still, now that we've agreed, at least us teachers should be safe. Right, Mr. Firewill? <laughs> I'm not sure. How about we add a note asking them to curse just the football club members? Alright, thanks! 
That's a great idea, Mr. Firewolf. Then we wouldn't have anything to worry about. We should reply to them as soon as we can. Yeah, I'm going to sleep now. <laughs> C-Curse! Curse? Could they be serious? I should put my cursor on screen right now, but I won't. Mark, a girl came to the club room and wants to be the team's manager. And because I can put my cursor on screen, that doesn't mean I'm emulating. It's just because I have to record my 2DS screen on a PC recorder, even though I am definitely playing on a 2DS. We've never had any interest before. Get down to the club room before she changes our mind. Got it. It seems that the match with Occult is real after all. Before we start practicing, let's find out what the girl wants. I hope she's cute. I... You're really cute, Sylvia. I, I, I didn't just say that out loud, did I? I'm gonna hide. <laughs> right, well, we'll go to the football club room anyway and see what this mysterious girl is. I heard you have a friendly match coming up. I think they must have given a mistake made the... After the shameful manner in which you won the last match. Well, hey, at least we're not disbanded, lads. Well, hey, the way you pride yourself on your hollow victory is a blemish on the school's reputation. To put it bluntly, you're a disgrace. That's what I. That's why I've asked the whole school to put you through your paces. What? You mean we only have to walk around school and we'll get challenged? I suppose you could say you'll be challenged to a few football battles, so be prepared. After all, unless you get some proper training, there's no way you will survive the occult curse. The occult curse? So it's really real? How come you know so much about it? That's... that's none of your business! Well, at least in time when we should be finding an opponent to practice against. Well, aren't you the eager one? I hope you can get to the club room in one piece. There are some tough students to about, so watch it. And don't say I didn't warn you. Yep, so they don't want to join the football club, but they'll gladly take us on. Anyone who wants to challenge me to a game of footy is more than welcome to. We're used to Mark being so motivated, but Kevin too. What's going on? Yep, the this is probably the biggest problem with the game. One of two problems that I'll go over, but yeah, random encounters are here in full force in Inazuma 11. Like, it's pretty much Pokemon style, except you don't have to walk into tall grass to fight a Pokemon. Instead, you just have to walk anywhere outside, and there's no repellents. So... Yeah, I mean, there is technically some form of repellent, but it takes you ages to get it, and it still doesn't completely repel everyone. So, yeah, pretty much just walk around, and you will find yourself in a three-on-three -three football match before you know it. And they're all either just, well, I'll, I'll go over it when we actually have one, and I'm surprised we haven't got one already. They're not super common, like every few steps, but they can be inconsistent. This is an example of one now. Tennis is a sport of kings, and using one's feet is so uncouth, but it will still serve you a beating. But I do like them on Ryman Junior High, I must admit, because we take on other clubs. They're not just people who are randomly good at football, they are good at sports. They just prefer other sports, but they'll take us on in football. To shut us up because Nelly said so, is the excuse. Nice flip kick from Todd, he's better than he thinks if he can do a kick like that. The Love Allers. Yeah, the other good thing about the random encounters, they usually have a punny team name. <laughs> like Love Allers, because they are tennis players, so they'll score love against us. <laughs> One love. More football practice, oh, you never give up. What's that inconspicuously placed NPC over there near the tree? I, I, why are you hiding? Oh, it's Paul! Paul! I found you! Ah, you again! You just don't give up! Football! Let's talk football! I already told you I can't play! It's cool, keep you fit and make you a part of the team! 
I'm going to hide behind a tree as well. Oh, I can't. All right, fine. You won't find any other sport with that kind of spirit. Come on, pee baby. Well, now you're just insulting the guy. How are you going to recruit him like this? Aren't you going to say something? <laughs> He's being you now. Well, I'm not saying anything until I hear it from your own lips. I want to play football. <laughs> you're such a twat today, Mark. At least you are to this guy. Well, aren't you getting the urge to play? Yeah, you've already asked me 18 times. Leave me alone. You're crazy. Yeah. Trust me, Mark, you're not getting his interest, especially when you call him a baby and say he's probably going to get kicked because he looks like a ball somehow. She just wants to make cookies. It only took me until late last year to have freshly baked cookies for the first time. I've been over this in Paper Mario, haven't I? But yeah, freshly baked cookies. God, why even have any other kind? Mark Evans, hi! You played a great game. By the way, did you see my newspaper article on the news board? What? You wrote that? Yeah, my name's Celia Hills and I'm in the newspaper club. Aren't you impressed that I got the news before you guys? After watching the match against Royal Academy, I became a huge fan of your club. So Mark, please let me be one of your football club managers. I can get information on other teams, clean the room and even do the laundry if it helps. Of course you can. New club members are always welcome. In fact, you can play on the pitch with us. I mean, well, she could, you should be fair, but... No, she's going to be a manager. And, yes, she's definitely a woman, and she's called Celia. Don't know why they were being so mysterious about her before, but she's here on our side now. Players find themselves unable to move, or the ball disappears when they try to shoot. Creepy stuff. What? So they're really serious about that curse. Captain, don't you think we should find another team for our next friendly? Don't be a wimp. There's no reason to be afraid of those bogus magicians. Well, I'm not afraid. It's just that we have we don't have Axel and... Look! Have you already forgotten who Ryman's top spiker, striker is? It's Willie! You'll, he's all you'll need against the cult. But, but, but... Everybody calm down! Look, I know the club isn't exactly overflowing with players right now, but you've got me as a manager. I thought up a method to scout out new players using my information and contacts. In other words, a scout system. Scout system? There are players from other clubs that may want to join the team, but we might not know their names. That's where I come in. I signal you a player's whereabouts by searching for specific criteria. As the football team's level increases, so does the number of players you can scout for. Just don't get carried away. You can only have a maximum of 100 players in your squad when there's about a thousand in the game, so you can pretty much have a 10 of everybody. Once you reach the maximum, you can't invite any more players without letting somebody go first. I've been having a look over the current team data. I've come to the conclusion that it would be too risky to rely on Willie as a striker in place of Axel. Even if nobody else is capable of filling Axel's boots, we should at least find one other forward. Come speak to me if you'd like to do that. Right, so she's basically told you, Oi, recruit another forward. Kevin's not good enough. And what do you mean no one else can fill his boots? We can't use the pitch today, so even if we have enough players, are we doing running practice again? Instead of standing around moaning... Oh, oh yeah, sorry. That'll be, I'm probably going to do that a couple of times by accident in this LP. You can advance text using the circle pad, stroke D pad. So, yeah, it is possible to skip text quite easily. What? You better watch your mouth, sunshine! <laughs> it's funny, because he, he does pretty much appear to have the sun on his head. Calm down, you two! Celia, do you know of anywhere we could play football? Well, how about the riverbank? There's a lot of space, and I think there might even be a pitch. The riverbank? The newspaper club really does know all the facts. Okay then, let's go. Thanks Celia, you've been a great help. I'm happy to help, and I'm no more fighting. Just go and enjoy playing football. See you later. So now we can go to the riverbank, which is quite sweet. Let's go to the riverbank right now. We'll call it a day once we arrive there. Well, I mean, well, I'll, I'll give the scouting system a go, I suppose. So we want a striker, according to... We can pick anyone we like. We don't have to get a strike. In fact, 
Alright, we'll search for a forward this time. But we've sent her off on the quest to find one, but it will still be a good while longer before we actually get anybody. Oh, Mr. Firewall, what are you doing here? You can arrange the players into a story or a connect squad. Connect only applies to multiplayer, which we're not... I don't know if I can even cover it yet, and my story player is already set, so... Yeah, let's just get off. New treasure chest has appeared here. All the treasure chests you see around Ryman, if you think, how did I miss that? It's in such an obvious place. That's because it only just appeared. Is it an, an exclusive thing to Inazuma 11 is that treasure chests just appear at will at any point, And once you've actually opened one, they disappear. Are you really going home already? By that I mean in future Inazuma 11s, the treasure chests are just permanently there. They never appear later on. They never go away. Mark, let him go! You already said he won't be joining our club! But I heard a cult really do put a curse on other teams. What will happen if we don't have a technique like Fire Tornado? Shut it! We don't need to rely on anyone that isn't in the team. I'm the only Star Striker Ryman needs. B but... Who needs a special technique? Let's get to the riverbank! You're right, we shouldn't always rely on Axel anyway. Sorry, Axel, we'll be practicing down by the riverbank. Come join us if you change your mind. Thanks, but I don't think I will. Bye. Okay, let's go to the riverbank. Who needs a fire tornado anyway? If I know we're going to practice, I should be able to come up with something. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to head to the riverbank. And give you all a little glimpse of it. Doesn't it look nice? At least from the top screen, anyway. We're going to explore it in the next episode, so see you then.